Hey everyone, it's your Nick at Vault Dweller, and in this video we're going to go over what you can expect to see for the weekend of November 24th through the 28th, as well as cover some of the things that have happened in the previous week in the world of Bethesda and Fallout 76. Alright, so first off, the fun stuff. Back on November 10th, 2022, Bethesda announced on their playtest server that they will be removing certain illegal mods from weapons. Whereas Bethesda is aiming to get rid of a number of hacked weapons in the game, the legacy weapons are also falling into that mix. And while at first it wasn't made very clear that it was an intended thing to remove legacies off of weapons, half the community waited almost a week sitting on pins and needles to hear back on what Bethesda had decided. On November 17th, Bethesda brought the public test server back down again to apply an update. Once the update had been applied, and the PTS have been brought back online, players got their answer for legacy weapons. Which is, if you have an energy weapon with the explosive attribute, that attribute will no longer be on that weapon. Bethesda's verbiage basically said that only ballistic weapons should have the explosive attribute, with a few exceptions such as the railway rifle. In my looking around on the Twitch and YouTube universe, I actually hopped into a stream last night where one player, I'm not going to mention his name, was giving all his legacies away, which I think is kind of cool. However, it doesn't mean score what, you know, a week or two from now. Curious what you guys think will be the next go-to gun for everyone. Leave us all a comment down below because, well, for me, I need some ideas. Bethesda has also announced that they're going to be releasing their next update on December 6, 2022, which contains the Nuka World on Tour update, everything that's been going on in the public test server right now, as well as the Season 11 scoreboard, which so happens to be Nuka Cola themed. Many players over the past week have been reporting that they're getting dropped out of pit missions randomly. Some people are saying that this can happen two or three times a session and it normally happens to the team leader. This issue didn't start cropping up until they brought up the latest server update to the public test server, but the live server and the public test server are parallel to one another and do not share data, so that's kind of the timeline, but I don't think that's necessarily the case. Frequent disconnects and server locks have been tied to a recent duplication glitch tied to power armor, so that's probably the culprit. Okay, so for the weekend of November 24th through the 28th, Thanksgiving weekend, you can expect to see in Fallout 76 a legendary purveyor sale for 25% off, a script surplus weekend, and a caps of plenty weekend. And for any of the new players that are out there that are not familiar with the legendary purveyor sale, 25% off, when you go to the purveyor and you go to purchase something other than legendary modules, it will be 25% off the normal price. Whereas if something costs 100 legendary script, it would only cost 75 for this weekend. For the script surplus weekend, you'll get double the amount amount of script that you can turn in so whereas you get 300 originally you'll now get 600 that will also end on the 28th. Lastly for Caps of Plenty weekend vendors have double the amount of caps they normally have for you to sell items to. So if you have an opportunity to take advantage of these sales do so because they work well with one another. Now all Bethesda needs is a Black Friday sale on the Atomic Shop. And that's going to be it for me. You guys have a beautiful holiday weekend. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys soon in Appalachia. Love you, bye.